So you might be wondering, wondering why we even bother having capacitors. And the answer is that capacitors store charge and energy. And that's enormously useful for situations where you don't want to have a high current flowing all the time, but sometimes you need a high current. So think of a camera and a camera's flash in particular. You don't want to be lugging around a massive battery pack. You want to be able to have a very, very high current to make the bulb flash but for a very, very, very short time. It only needs to run for a little while. So cameras commonly use capacitors to charge up and then discharge very, very quickly. That's why quite often when you go to take a photo, there's a little delay before the flash goes and the cameras and the photo is taken. That's because it's charging up. It's using the time constant of the circuit. So we sometimes talk about um, the charge um, on the or held by the capacitor and so we will um, we will occasionally see it written C equals Q over V the amount of charge divided by the voltage across the capacitor but this is more commonly written Q the charge stored on the capacitor is equal to C, the capacitance of the capacitor, times the, capa the voltage across the capacitor. Remembering that as time goes on, the voltage across the capacitor approaches the supply voltage. So in the beginning, there's no charge, charge stored on the capacitor because there's no voltage across it. After a number of time constants, after a period of time, the voltage across the capacitor is approaching the supply voltage there's a lot of charge stored on the capacitor. And you'll sometimes see that drawn as a nice little diagram. As the voltage across the capacitor increases, the amount of charge stored on it increases too. And that gives us a handy little way of finding the energy stored by the capacitor. Well, the energy stored by the capacitor is the area under the graph. So potential energy is a half Q times by the voltage across the capacitor. So, so far so good. Um, this gives us a way of understanding how uh, we can use capacitors in circuits. Well, we can set it up in a certain way so that we store a certain amount of energy in it given by the charges and the potential difference between them, and we can release it in a certain amount of time, charge it up in a certain amount of time, release it really quickly. And we can use that for lots of applications, things that we're interested in doing.